You're Keevon Watkins? Yes, sir. All right, Mr. Watkins, you have been charged with two different felony offenses. One of them is felony murder, which alleges that on or about the second day of February 2018, while in the commission of the offense of aggravated assault, a felony, you caused the death of Alexis Watkins. You understand what you're charged with there? Yes, sir. The other warrant charges you with aggravated assault by strangulation of Alexis Watkins. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Why is Nathaniel Chuckin still Because what the allegation is is that she was killed during the commission of a felony offense, that being aggravated assault. That's what it's about. On a personal level, I can't give you any advice because I've never been there and don't want to be. But um, the, you're very early in the process, okay? And um, you got some good lawyers over there who are going to help y'all. Um, you just see where it goes, but that's why he's been charged the way he's been charged. Hey, say hey. hey. <laughs> hey. Say hey. hey. <laughs> Alexis Watkins, a vibrant 20 year old from Macon, Georgia, was celebrated for her infectious silliness, intelligence, undeniable beauty, and zest for life. Alongside her high school sweetheart, she welcomed her first child, Cameron, into the world in 2016, and her love for him knew no bounds. Her social media was a testament to her adoration, filled with photos and videos showcasing the adventures and humor of her beloved baby boy. Despite embarking on her own journey as a working mother, she remained devoted to her extended family. Her bond with her mother was especially profound. Their love was unwavering, and Alexis would have gone to great lengths to ensure her well-being. Tragically, the harmony within this family was shattered by a disturbing and heart-wrenching incident. A dark cloud of speculation hung over Alexis's mother as she witnessed her own son, 16-year-old Kavan, commit the unspeakable act of strangling Alexis to death. Welcome to the American Crime, Femicide Channel. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future uploads. On February 3, 2018, according to Alexis's mother, Latoya, the day took a dark turn due to her son Kavan's nasty attitude. Kavan, absorbed in video games, had reset the internet password, preventing others from using it. In response, Latoya disconnected the internet router and placed the video game console in her bedroom. This action incited a confrontation, with Kavan attempting to engage in a physical altercation. Alexis intervened, embracing her brother in a bear hug, urging him to calm down and cease the fight with their mother. A harrowing struggle ensued as Alexis and Kavan grappled on the floor, culminating in Kavan placing his sister in a chokehold. Despite Latoya and another sibling, K.W., attempting to intervene by hitting and punching Kavan, their efforts proved futile in breaking his grip on Alexis. During the subsequent trial, Latoya testified that Alexis initiated the confrontation by entering her bedroom, charging at Kavan, and striking him first. On that day, deputies received two distressing calls. At 5.17 p.m., Latoya dialed 911, seeking assistance with Kavan's disobedience and disorderly behavior. Moments later, her younger son, K.W., also called 911, reporting that Kavan had Alexis in a chokehold, rendering her unconscious. K.W. described Watkins's threats towards their mother and the struggle to free Alexis from his grip. Deputy Munguia, upon arriving at the scene, demanded twice that Watkins release his sister. Finally, Watkins complied, and Alexis's lifeless body went limp. She was unresponsive, with her tongue protruding and she had urinated on herself. Deputy Munguia immediately initiated CPR and called for additional assistance, but Alexis remained unresponsive. Alexis was rushed to a hospital, where she was revived and admitted to the intensive care unit, diagnosed with cardiorespiratory failure resulting in anoxic brain injury. Tragically, she endured another cardiac arrest, experiencing irreversible brain damage and multiple organ failures. She succumbed to her injuries the following day. The medical examiner concluded that the cause of Alexis's tragic death was anoxic brain injury, 
a result of oxygen deprivation to the brain due to asphyxiation. In August 2019, Kavan was convicted of felony murder in connection with the tragic death of his sister. His lawyer had requested a bench trial, and Bibb County Superior Court Judge Verda Colvin rendered a verdict of murder rather than voluntary manslaughter, citing the desperate attempt of their 13-year-old brother to intervene and stop Kavan from choking their sister. A Macon teen is sentenced to life in prison for choking his sister to death during a fight over a Wi-Fi password. According to evidence in the case in February of 2018, a then 16-year-old Kavan Watkins was arguing with his mom because he changed the Wi-Fi password to play video games. His sister Alexis stepped in and then started fighting. According to testimony in the case, Kavan placed his sister in a chokehold for about 15 minutes. Deputies say she was still in the chokehold when they arrived on scene. Alexis died in the hospital later that night. While giving her decision, Judge Colvin solemnly remarked, even under the best estimation, by the time a sheriff's deputy got there, it had been at least 11 minutes that the defendant had to have been choking his sister. She continued, in those 10 minutes, she had to have stopped moving. Perhaps that wasn't noticed by the defendant because he was still angry. As Judge Colvin pronounced the life sentence, anguished cries erupted from the benches where Kavan Watkins' family sat. She lamented, it's just tragic because had this situation not been ignored, it wouldn't have been empowered. Alexis was laid to rest on February 10, 2018, leaving her family, friends, and her young son grappling with the horror of her murder. Many spectators found it perplexing how those present in the home that day failed to prevent Kavan from taking his sister's life. While the extent of efforts made to save Alexis's life may forever remain uncertain, debating this will never bring back the life of this young mother. Let us hold her family and friends in our thoughts and prayers, especially her son, as we hope for solace and peace in the memory of Alexis Watkins.